just went over some really amazing five traits of a great salesperson's attitude. But I'm going to go over a few more because I feel like there's just so many. I actually have a lot more than just 10, about 15 to 20, which is really incredible. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. More traits of a great attitude is, as I mentioned, you don't just show up early. You stay late. You go there. You help set up, but you also help tear down. You help those events. You know, there's so much effort that goes into events, even when you're not the one hosting it. Why don't you help them out? You want to be seen as a leader and a giver. Next is to train constantly. I don't know if you guys have ever seen athletes. <laughs> I used to be a professional figure skater, and I know that any day I did not train, I did not do something to better my skills. The next day I would come on the ice and oh my gosh, I would fall on my face. This is not even an exaggeration. I remember one time I went on a quick holiday, just like a quick week holiday, right? I get back on the ice the next Monday. I was falling left and right. Keep in mind, this is about six years into skating. Okay, I know how to skate at this point, right? I know how to skate. I know how not to fall down. And I'm still losing my footing. I'm falling on things. And I'm like, what happened? Well, it's that week that I took off that I was not training. Next is focus on the solution, not the problem. We go back to problems equal opportunities. You want to focus on the solution of it and the problem. I'm not saying that sometimes things are upsetting and there's a problem you're facing. Sometimes, you know, you will get a little sad, but you don't want to dwell on that. When you dwell on that, that is the problem. That takes away from the great attitude that you need to have. So you're going to focus on the solution. You go, okay, this is a problem. You allow a few minutes to, okay, I'm a little bit upset. But now how can I fix it? How can I get out of this upsetting feeling? It's an uncomfortable feeling. No one likes being upset. Next is to take high levels of action. Anyone knows in business that it's always a numbers game. It doesn't matter. If you talk to one person and that's your one person forever in business, you're not going to get anywhere. <laughs> you're really not. But if you see, if you talk to at least five people, Someone's going to do something, whether it's they're going to do business with you or they know someone who's going to do business with you. What are your chances when it's one versus five? Next is to stay busy. Now, this is really critical because I feel like a lot of people are constantly busy. But you need to stay productive. You need to constantly be doing things. Your brain needs to constantly be involved in everything that you do. There's no multitasking. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but in my brain, I constantly need to be doing something. I constantly need stimulation. It is actually pretty bad sometimes. <laughs> like, I will be sitting in stuff, and I am the person who fidgets. I have fidget spinners. I have fidget toys that I bring everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so you constantly need to make sure that your brain is so involved that you don't need those fidget toys. When I do my work, I don't do other things because my brain, I force my brain to stay fully engaged. So, oops, wrong button. Thank you guys so much for coming in and listening for a few more of the great sales traits. And also, I'm going to come back and I'm going to bring some more. So thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it.